Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and I document my weight loss journey in a weekly format. If you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up. If you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, Let's get into this week's video. Good morning, guys. It is currently 9.14. I made it to Texas. I did not even need to take a break. I uh, just took another COVID test. So it's a mobile van. It's with curative test. And I'm pretty sure it's with curative test. Let me just double check the email. Yeah, curative testing. Texas curative testing COVID. And it's a mobile site because the urgent cares you have to go inside and I just don't feel com I don't feel comfortable going inside so you check in online I did it last night I was able to get a test this morning literally Monday morning and it's a mouth swab test but you do it yourself and so you check in and you show your ID at the truck everyone's wearing masks and stuff like that and social distancing and then they give you your little test swab kit. You go up to the tent and they instruct you how to swab the inside of your mouth, which is basically like the roof, like everything that touches the inside of your mouth, um, minus like going back to your throttle flap, which is what I call it from Avatar The Last Airbender. I've always called it that because of Sokka. <laughs> That's how you know I'm a real fan. But anyways, did it and then you drop it off into the van um there's like a little slot outside of the van where you just drop it off but also there's a slot where that they just drop down your test kit to give you and then your results will be done in about two to three days which typically honestly your test results come in like the next day most of the time i found minus the quest lab kit where i did that myself and you sent it to a lab that came in like three days but three to four days but when I got my like COVID test and it's like up your nose that one was literally the next day this one I think by Thanksgiving because <laughs> it's Monday hopefully by Wednesday I'll find out I would love to know tomorrow but anyways my grandma and I she's driving in her car I'm driving in mine we're social distancing until we get our results because I'm just being really safe around her we're gonna try to go to Bill Miller's and get some barbacoa some tacos to go that is the plan so i will check in with you later she's now in her car i just saw her get into her car and we're gonna head out to get some food so i'll check in with you guys later i've been on my way up now it's really far down Just finished eating my three tacos, two carne asadas and potato and egg. And we've taken our second to last COVID test. Well, don't really know if that's true in life, but we took the first one. We're gonna take another one in two weeks just to be sure that we did not give each other COVID. Um, Cause you never know. And also my grandmother is in her 70s so I need to make sure that I'm being as safe as possible and not giving it to her type of thing so took the COVID test excuse me mouth swab at the center that I told you at told you guys about she felt very good about taking it there because she's taken a COVID test where she's had to go inside the only COVID test that I've taken was the first one by Pixel Lab Core where they send you a COVID test kit and you just swab the inside of your nose, the bottom part. And then the second time was at Zip Clinic in Colorado. And that like goes all the way up your nose and you find out the next day whether you have COVID or not. And I was in my car for that situation. So they came up to my car, took it for me. And then I found out the next day. In this one, you go up to the van, you know, they have it social distance style, obviously. And yeah, the, 
the van opens at nine so you start you get in line at nine and you have a little slot to drop your ID card so they can look at it they send you a QR code so they can make sure that you are registered properly and then they drop the COVID test sample kit um, in the little slot you pick it out of the slot you wait into the second line that goes up to the tent when you go up to the tent there's a person there to instruct you how to swab your mouth which is basically the insides of your cheeks along your gums on top and bottom underneath your tongue on top of your tongue the roof of your mouth basically just the whole entire perimeter of your mouth and they tell you not to eat anything um, brush your teeth smoke drink 20 minutes before you are not supposed to do any of those things 20 minutes before my grandma and i had brushed our teeth around like 7 30 7 45 and we weren't able to like take our test until like maybe 9 10 because we were in line and it was pretty quick like the line moves pretty quick and so we were more than okay and plus it took like a while to get there because on the other side of town and yeah was able to take the test and then you are instructed after you take it to drop it into the van there's like a little drop off area slot at the back of the van and you just put it down the chute and then you go about your business and you find out in two to three days oh i also had a macro bar immediately after and i also had some gatorade to kind of keep me hydrated because i was a little bit dehydrated yesterday because i started my period yesterday so yeah had a lot of gummy bears thanks mel for the gummy bears had a lot of gummy bears and i my last meal was like chicken with stir fried vegetables and mashed potatoes with a lot of vegan butter and now I am going to continue watching My Shy Boss or Introverted Boss on Netflix. It's a Korean drama. I'm on an episode. <laughs> what? I'm on episode 11 or 12, I think. And there's only 16 episodes in the entire series. So I'm almost done. But I'm so excited. It's so good so far. I read a blog last night because I just needed to know, like, if it was going in a direction that I was feeling good about and the blog was very like it was they gave it a three and a half stars out of four they were like I didn't like all these things with it and I'm just like that's so opinionated <laughs> I just yeah but I don't know I'm gonna continue watching that and rest for the rest of the day because I have the day off I took the day off knowing that I would most likely be getting a COVID test today but also needed to rest because I traveled so far <laughs> over a thousand miles um, to get to Texas anyways oh my roots they're so grown out my grandma's gonna help me get my hair done again we're gonna do crochet br crochet braids they're gonna be a lot shorter they're 14 inches instead of this long beautiful mane so I'm also in clothes that I've had in Texas for, I've left these clothes here for such a long time. And so this is the first time I'm ever wearing these items. But yeah, this week is gonna look a little bit different. I'm not gonna really be able to work out this week because the first couple days I'm gonna be in my room by myself essentially in this nice little yellow room here. And yeah, until I get my results. So I'll be eating in my room. Won't really be working out because not a lot of floor space. I mean, I guess I could, but I uh, I don't want to. It's also the week of Thanksgiving, you know? Take a break. So you're not going to really be seeing a lot of workouts from me this week, but you will be seeing food. You will be seeing food. <sighs> oh yeah, I thought I would share what I had for my food on the road so i had a 12 inch junior i had a 12 inch bacon lettuce tomato sandwich with mayonnaise and mustard no 
Okay, good. I think an email. Email? Yeah. Okay. Well, they sent you a link via email where you can check your results. So the food that I had while I was driving was a 12 inch bacon lettuce tomato sandwich with mayonnaise and mustard. I had a cookie, an oatmeal raisin cookie. I'm trying to think, a macro bar. Gatorade. No, I didn't have Gatorade. I had a lot of water. Well, I had a venti or tr yeah trento water because i got a grande chai latte with a pump of pumpkin sauce and soy milk almond cinnamon foam hmm i also had gummy bears a couple handfuls Two bags of barbecue chips from Jimmy John's. I had some Korean barbecue beef jerky. Had some as I was driving and then I had some yesterday as well. What else did I have on Saturday? I think that was it. I think that's all I had. And then Sunday I just had a lot of gummy bears like a lot I think there was only like a third or fourth of the bag left a third yeah it was a third of the bag left of gummy bears so I had a lot and then I had oh that's also what I had on Sunday on Saturday morning I had a bacon an egg McGriddle I had that and then I had another bacon egg McGriddle on Sunday so that was like all that I had on Saturday so bacon egg McGriddle on Sunday gummy bears I had the rest of my Korean beef barbecue beef jerky yesterday for Sunday and then I had basically a th like two-thirds of the gummy bear it was a massive bag that Mel got me and I had that yesterday I had water a large pomegranate juice mashed potatoes with butter, vegan butter, stir fry vegetables, and three little chicken wings that were air fried, which the air fryer is really good, by the way. I want to get one one day. Target has one for $50, but we just don't have enough room in our kitchen for me to justify getting it. And what else did I have yesterday? I think that was it. I just snacked on a lot of gummy bears yesterday, which was not good. And then today, so far, I have had the three tacos that you saw, coconut water, and then I had my macro bar protein, macro protein bar this morning with the lemon lime Gatorade af immediately after I took my test. And that is all I have had today and it is still early in the morning i kind of want to take a nap i'm tired I'm very tired i don't think i'll feel it when i hit the ground I'm watching my shy boss and i had another taco a potato and egg taco and i'm having one of these nut bars as well part of my lunch so my grandma just got Instacart and I had up to here like half a cup. Hold on. Let me show you. Like here, that this line right there. Mm. It's almond milk eggnog. It's not as thick or creamy as like promised land eggnog that I grew up drinking, but it's satisfying the cravings i just had another half cup of eggnog it was so good it was so good and i had a piece of a chicken wing that isn't random i don't know what is 
Yeah, it's currently, I think it's like three something. Yeah, 3.52. So it's almost dinner time. Mind you, I eat dinner at like 4.30, okay? So sometimes five. And we're an hour behind from Colorado. So central time compared to mountain time. We're not behind, so I really should be having dinner now, but I'm ready adjusted. I'm ready acclimated, you know? Sleeping for like nine and a half hours. The day that I got in, the next day that I got in. <sighs> Starting at Sunday morning at like one o'clock in the morning. Waking up around 9.30. Yeah. Slept a good long time. So I had basically two thirds of that pint. Yeah, I had two thirds of that pint. And then I got sick of the chocolate. This is how you know I'm on my period because I'm just eating things that I should not eat. Oh my god, there's a spider web in here. This is not. Oh. Oh my god, I hate this. Ay, Dios mío, ¿por qué? I had some ice cream, basically two thirds of that pint. The half baked peanut butter non dairy from Ben and Jerry's with almond milk. And I had another piece of chicken. Yeah. Being on your period is. Uh, weird things you eat. Oh man, pregnancy. That would be even weirder food. But that is what I had today for food. Water, but I need something cold. So I'm having this June sign acai berry hard kombucha. Organic, probiotic, gluten free. And it's 6% alcohol volume for a 36 full ounce can good morning everyone I'm currently making breakfast now in the kitchen I've had two little pieces of chicken sausage and I am making oatmeal also having some eggnog this is the eggnog that I'm having this morning just having about half a cup and I'm using these really cute bowls that my grandma has for my oatmeal Let me close that but yeah we I was looking at my test results online to see she is I was looking at my test results online to see like what the um, status of our results are and we should know maybe by today honestly because I received the test today this morning like really really early and yeah it looks like we might know by the end of today so we shall see if that is actually true breakfast is served in October, it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating <sighs> Alright, oh, that turned off Turn back on! Okay, now I'm watching Anyways, so I finished the rest of the pint of ice cream that you guys saw me had yesterday And still feeling pretty full so I guess that was my lunch because I literally cannot put anything else in my body besides water at this point but yeah that is the full update on food today I'm having two chicken wings and a small can of Sprite <laughs> very random but that's what I'm having 
currently having some chicken with some broccoli and cabbage and the gravy from the chicken all over. So that is the midday meal. And I also had a fruit, chocolate fruit bar snack, um, granola thing that you guys saw yesterday. I had one of those before my lunch. Did we test negative? Oh yes, girl. Oh yes, 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 yes. Praise the Lord. Melanie's also here. <laughs> Mel, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for helping us. I appreciate you. We can turn on the light, you know. Wow. I know. It's, it, I don't. I haven't turned on the light in the living room. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm eating some gummy. You eating gummies too? No, she's eating Chick Fil A. No, oh, Chick Fil A. You, these... you know, in San Antonio, the only thing I eat at Chick Fil A here is the um, mac and cheese. I don't like their chicken. <laughs> it don't taste like Denver. Denver. Well, it's too hard. It's overcooked, <laughs> and and they don't give. They look like they give you the end of the 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 the, the thing. Well, Melody also likes the. Um... Melanie also likes the mac and cheese that they serve. Yeah, yeah me too. That's what I usually do. If I want to, if I cook, if I have some meat, I go. Buy, I have my meat, and all I do is get the mac and cheese. Oh. So Amazon sells these um, sugar-free gummy bears, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't believe you never heard of this. No. Because it's <laughs> hilarious. Okay, some of these reviews. Okay, this one's really long, but I'm gonna read it to you. Ready? Uh -huh. Ready. <clears throat> the Nate, like the title of the review says, The Horror at 30,000 Feet. Okay? <laughs> My flight was leaving at 8 in the morning. After waking and trying to get to the airport, I forgot to grab something. I usually take my time and do things in order, but not this day. I was traveling from Boston to LA, coming home from a work trip. I do it regularly, so nothing was new to me. I stayed in the same hotel and knew hold on melanie on hold on hold on yes i'm working tomorrow oh, okay. i'm talking to melanie i'm talking on the phone okay. <laughs> thanks during my work trip i stopped at a convenience store and saw these gummy bears and thought they would be a perfect fit for my son charlie he loves gummy bears and gummy worms so the morning i was headed back to la I slept through my alarm. That never happens. I rushed to get out of the hotel and <laughs> threw those gummies in my carry-on bag to make it on time to the airport. After speeding and filling up gas in the rental, I made it to my gate. I get on a plane. Um, this is so detailed. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna skip ahead. So she gets in her seat. Uh, she, the lady in the middle must have been around eight years old, so it took her time to get up, make sure she was holding on to something so she didn't fall. Fast forward 20 minutes as we reach our cruising altitude. As I reach into my carry-on bag to grab my headphones, I see the gummy bears. Since I'm hungry and need something, I decided to open them and just have a few to hold me over until we land. I wanted to save some for my son, so I had maybe four or five, but I had four or five too many because once the bears had a few minutes to adjust to their new home, they began to work. It started out with a little cramp, which is normal with gassing on a plane. You do not want to fart on a plane, so you hold it in. It's airplane etiquette. It would come and go over a few minutes, so I thought nothing of it. Then it got worse. The cramps intensified, and the sweating started. And I began to notice the older lady looking over at me. About three minutes into eating the bears, my thinking went from, oh, these are just farts to, or from, oh, these are just farts, I can hold them to, oh, dear God, not here. I have. She got <laughs> diarrhea? I have been a Christian my whole life, and this is the test. If there's a God, please help me leave this plane with my dignity intact. After waiting for the intense cramp, wave to pass. I stood up. <laughs> I stood up and jumped over those two women. I could not wait for them to stand, so I stood up, my back facing them, and tried to shimmy past them. I think a two came out because I heard one of them say. Oh, Lord, was that you? After reaching the aisle, I waddled to the back of the plane where the least amount of risk would be. To my dismay, it was in use. That left one bathroom in the front. I looked down the aisle and saw my Mount Everest. I had to somehow keep my wet cheeks tighter than a Fortnite. What? <laughs> wet cheeks? 
while waddling forward while praying no one would get out of their seat. After five minutes of stop and go, I made it to the bathroom. I was pulling my pants out as I entered the bathroom. The door was still unlocked as the sweet release was underway. I thought I died. I thought this was it. Even, <laughs> even though I was on the throne confessing my sins. The throne? I was called. I lost count on how many knocks at the door there was. I must have been in there for 45 minutes, but I made it. I washed my hands and threw water in my face to calm me down. Opening the door, I saw the faces looking back at me. Apparently, the seals of the bathroom was not airtight, letting the, just the slightest airflow from the bathroom to the main co- um, cabin. So, got new glasses, really, really excited with these new glasses that I got. They are designer, they're my first ever designer glasses, they are by Chloe, can you see? Yeah, you can see that. So I got these like octagon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight octagon glasses I really really like them they are blue light so they're really good for looking at your screen and also your computer because I look at the computer every single day all the time but anyways we're really excited in this household tonight because as you guys heard we both tested my grandma and I negative we got the results back at six o'clock tonight essentially and tested negative and i called mel my roommate to tell her and i was because i was finally able to like hug my grandma and take off my mask and go into her room because we haven't hugged at all we like have been keeping our six feet apart but also wearing masks around each other and disinfecting things washing hands and all that stuff so we've been keeping our social distancing but man this corona virus slash covid19 is it's hard um i was very excited to hug my grandmother but it's also just really weird because i haven't seen her since last christmas and I'm the first person that she's had in her house since March. I mean, she usually doesn't have people in her house anyway, but like interacting this closely with since March. So she's been truly like quarantining by herself this entire time. And so that I'm the first person that she's really had this close contact with. So I know it's been difficult for her because she's been by herself and been pretty lonely and I at least have my roommate and I'm able to see other people and stuff like that and social distance in Colorado but I interact with more people but it yeah it's just crazy and I know that I'm not alone in how I'm feeling or just quarantining for the holidays to be able to spend time with my family so I'm going to be out in Texas for the remainder of the year and we'll be going back home beginning of January essentially I recently did the Cosbox unboxing video where I featured that swell bottle so yeah if you haven't already please do go check out that video thanks to you thanks to you if you have Thank you if you have already watched uh, the video. If you haven't, I'll leave it in the cards for you. Also, I'm up to 35 subscribers on YouTube, which is insane to me. I just, each time I get a new subscriber, I'm kind of just like, oh my gosh, like this is crazy. It's so crazy. It, It makes me so excited to know that there's like a community of you guys watching my videos and like sticking with me on this journey it's so cool so thank you for subscribing if you have and if you haven't subscribe you know be a part of this little 
community that is just growing um it's so cool to see and i'm just so incredibly thankful um and full of gratitude for those who have hit that subscribe button and are allowing this channel to grow and yeah it just amazes me and it's so cool to be on this journey i love filming youtube videos and i just love the entire process of like vlogging and editing and making the content better and giving you guys better quality and stuff like that so it just makes me very very excited and yeah got a pimple you can tell when i'm not eating well because i get like freaking pimples <laughs> it's so annoying but anyways i am going to continue watching cinderella and the four nights here on netflix i'm on episode four so that means i already watched about four well three hours i'm just starting episode four i'm only three minutes into the fourth episode so have 57 more minutes to go essentially uh, about three and a half minutes in 57 more minutes to go but anyways thank you so much if you have subscribed if you haven't already please do subscribe i would love for you to be a part of this community and yeah grow with me and this community it's so cool to know that there's 35 of you who are like subscribed it's just kind of crazy and very exciting and i'm just extremely thankful and can't believe it good morning <laughs> currently making some avocado on toast with egg Hello! <laughs> I'm currently about to make myself some... Well, I'm not making anything. I am pouring myself a glass of eggnog because it is the holiday season. Oh, she already has the full turkey in here. Um, yeah, I'll just have a little bit of eggnog. Also, we're going to be painting the house. Well, not we. I. I am going to be painting the house. She does not like the color in the kitchen anymore, so we're going to go back to white. And when I was younger, I painted the... Um, oh, so good. I painted my bathroom in this house orange I painted it orange and she let me I also painted my room which is now her office this highlighter green color I went for truly crazy colors back then but hey it is what it is I truly <laughs> you can see it already I painted I painted this bathroom orange. I, uh, <laughs> I have no excuse for what I did. Oh my gosh. There we go. Just gonna have one. Oh, oh, oh. Mmm, I 
constantly look crazy. So I had two Ferrero Rochers in total that are missing. See, only two. And I had two dark chocolate digestives along with a small can of Sprite. These are 90 calories for this small can. Very, very small. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what I will have because it's practically lunchtime. She's back. Grandma's back from her shopping. But she says she's gonna make some food for lunch right now. So I'm gonna get some chicken and some vegetables. I literally was about to, like I turned on the stove just now to make food. She came in saying she's gonna make me something. So might as well, you know, when you're home for the holidays and your parents and grandparents are willing to cook for you, take advantage because it's gonna be some of the best food ever. Ugh, I miss these home cooked meals from her. I also had two slices of bread with um, with butter. So just toast with butter and then another small Sprite as well. So this is my lunch. Now having a handful, well not really a handful, but a couple gummy bears here. I have had more, another handful of um, gummy bears. And I'm having a dark chocolate digestive. This is my third one of the day. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I actually got my stuff on my head. Happy Thanksgiving, Lord. Lord, I just thankful for you. I thank you for you loving me and I'm loving you and teaching us how to love each other. Amen. 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 Um, it is currently 9.01 and she is cooking up a storm. Yeah, I'm on my foot. But look at this. This is still frozen. Not frozen. It's better now. It's dying out. Whoa. But it was frozen. I had it in the bottom there. I should have probably took it up one day earlier. Oh, that's okay. It happens. Yeah. I mean, we also have other meat that we could eat. It doesn't matter that we have to eat a turkey. Yeah, but I didn't have it thaw out, though. But this would be all right. I mean, if you put it in a bag, yeah. you put it in a bag and then put it in a container that has hot water, it will thaw out faster. Yeah, but this is seasoned. Yeah, I'm saying if you put this in a bag and then you put the bag in the hot water so it, it's not going to get into the turkey. Oh, okay. You so know what I mean? It's going to yeah, be the we'll hot see. water will surround yeah. the bag and the... I put it one in a big bag. I didn't yeah. think about that, but let's see. That's usually what it's I do no, sometimes. See, it's, it's, um, it's pretty much done. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. Is that like half a turkey? It's half a turkey. Yeah, it's half a turkey. Did you just buy half a turkey? No, I bought a whole turkey and I cut it in half. Oh, you ate sub ready? No, I didn't eat none of it yet. What are you making right there? This is my macaroni and cheese and that's your macaroni and cheese. Okay, I was about to say, I thought you were mixing them together and I was about to be like, no, I no, can't no, eat no, that. No, no, yours is going in here. Okay. I'm just getting mine's ready. You haven't made the rice and peas, have, have you? No, that's the last thing I'm going to make. Okay, because that's, that's what I want to learn how to make. Yeah, this is done too. I cooked this, this green beans. Uh-huh. And I didn't put, this is how much sweet potato thing I cooked because I don't know if you like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the massive fan okay. of that, but. so that's why I cooked that much. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm fixing this macaroni and cheese. And then when I finish this, I will, um, what do you call it? I got the potato salad I'm going to fix. I already got that thing done. I can help with the potato salad. What are you going to do with the potato salad, Jasmine? You know that I've made it before. 
Yes, you have. You have. You just usually have to walk me through it. Yeah. This time I will document so I can remember for the rest of my life. Well, you see, take a knife and then stick it and see how, how tender it has to be. Stick it in there and see how tender it is. Oh, it really just that, goes that through. That one, that, that one is kind of, okay. that is how it's supposed to be. Okay. Got okay? It. Okay. All right. I'm going to charge this more. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> all right so to be real i have had two hawaiian rolls because i was trying it with our potato salad which i will show you This is our potato salad. I'm doing this one handed, by the way. Come on. Yes. Yeah? I'm having ginger ale. So my grandma's having her pumpkin pie. Mm. I mean, not pumpkin pie. Sweet potato, sweet potato pie. pie. And so I'm trying a little piece myself. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, cool whip. <gasps> Just dropped the pumpkin pie. I'm sorry to hear that about Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did a good job making this. Mmm. Mmm. You bought the crust? I bought the crust. Mmm. I don't, I can't have that. It has dairy in it, I'm pretty sure. Made with milk? Can't have it. Can't eat that cool whip. This is I really mm. Man, sweet potato pie is good. Who knew? I feel like I used to hate this when I was a little. But I still have my personal apple pie that she got me. Show it to you. Oh. She didn't make this. We bought it. So little. <laughs> I'll have that later. But this pumpkin pie is really good. Yoroba. Happy, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving for me and Tupac. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so full. I can't even finish this big old drumstick. Cannot, cannot finish it. But I had the rest of the apple pie, that little personal pie. Had the entirety of one glass of wine. My grandma's on her second one. <laughs> She's laughing because I'm telling the truth. And I'm drinking water. But literally, I'm so, so full. It is currently 4.43. Oh, I didn't realize my friend texted me. Oh. Um, I'll check that later. I'll respond to her later, girl. wasn't a good tongue pop, but you know, 
I'm on episode 15 of Cinderella and the Four Nights. Oh, it's about to be finished. I have seven minutes left. Seven minutes and 13 seconds left. Let me tell you, the drama is real, but my stomach bursting at the seams is even more real. Yeah, I had a total of six. Ferrero Rocher and then I've had four rolls of four or five rolls of the King's Hawaiian savory buttery roll savory butter rolls I mean you guys saw I was eating had my canned cranberry sauce which is the only type of cranberry sauce I know some people are like the shape the fact that it is the shape of the can it doesn't matter that that cranberry sauce makes this meal but anyways i hope you guys are having or have had because this will go up afterwards but hoping you guys are having or had a great thanksgiving and that we remember that the history books of pilgrims coming and taking this land from the native americans is wrong and we should be celebrating Native American Heritage Day that is on Friday, which is tomorrow, the day after Thanksgiving, and understanding that we are on stolen land. When the people came here to America, they took the land that was not rightly theirs and caused so much pain for millions and millions of people who are still affected and still suffering today, which is unfortunate. So my heart is with those who are Native American on this day, um, not feeling thankful that their ancestors died because of the people who took this land from them. I can understand why this is a hard day for them. So my heart is with them and Hopefully in the future, we can do more for people to recognize that there is a lot of damage done when this country was founded as the United States of America in the way that it was with the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, all that stuff, all the wars that happened. So I hope that one day we can tell the truth of the history that really happened and yeah give justice to those who have been given the worst hand in life and yeah i hope justice can go back one day to the native american people and the tribes that have suffered long and hard and are still suffering to this day so my heart is with you guys i have no words that can be of help um, or of service, but I can acknowledge the pain that is there and do my best to continue educating myself on this day. But however, I am very thankful for the fact that I have life and I'm able to be with my grandmother on this day and eat really good food, have a roof over our head despite this pandemic and test negative three times and be with her and us be safe um, during this time to be able to spend time with one another on this day and for the remainder of the year so i am very thankful that i have life i have a roof over my head food to eat water to drink and yeah and i'm thankful for the health that i have and the family and friends that i have so i hope that you can also remember this day to be thankful for what you have and the things that you currently have and don't take them for granted because we are all blessed in very different ways um, I will not deny that some of us are blessed in different ways than myself and I'm blessed in different ways than other people and I'm fortunate in different ways from other people and people are fortunate in different ways than me so I acknowledge those differences but none, nonetheless I'm still very thankful for what I have and who I have and the things that I have as well and I hope you are as well for however big or small they are be thankful so yeah 
I am going to check in with you guys tomorrow of what I eat. So this is my nightcap. I'm having a glass of port with two dark chocolate digestive biscuits. And yeah, this is the final meal, final drink and, you know, little treat snack of the night. And yeah, just having a little glass of port with my biscuits on my fancy plate. I am starting off the day eating a banana. We're gonna head to Starbucks right now. Ooh, I'm just gonna go straight because I can't go that way. Get out of here. I don't think so, but let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh. And just follow the strip, make a right. Well, we got our Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> this is how we look. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had on my mask. I mean, uh, let me put this on. <laughs> I had this on too. Look. Yeah. Have yeah, your shield that was on. Me, my shield. That's so cool that he like talked to us about the Mandalorian yeah, and told us all that make stuff. It more interesting. Yeah. Now we have to watch the Star Wars Rebels. The yes, cartoon. I got to do that after I finish watching my Mandalorian. Yes. Yeah, I got to watch Mandalorian. Yeah, we'll go home watch it. And yeah, I got a caramel latte, caramel latte, and, and she I got, got a white chocolate mocha, decaf, decaf with peppermint fat milk. Such a bougie drink. Bougie, bougie. With a hint of peppermint. Yes. And you stay in the middle lane. You stay in the middle lane because you're going over and when you get over, wow. you want to be on the right side. Okay. So I was talking yesterday about like how we need to remember the real history of like the birthing of Thanksgiving and pilgrims and how it really is just a massacre of indigenous people and Native Americans. So I had part of it wrong, but I got this post from In This Together LA. Um, they posted it on their Instagram and I just wanted to read it for you guys just to because they just have better words and better knowledge than I do about it. I'm still learning and growing and I can put books down there that I have read in the past um, that have helped me realize the reality of what Thanksgiving is for many people who live in America, who are Native Americans, indigenous people, and it is their land and how all of us live on stolen land and stuff like that. So I just wanted to read this and yeah it says for many indigenous people thanksgiving is a difficult time the narrative of thanksgiving upholds pervasive colonial belief systems and gaslights the native and indigenous experience most of the telling of thanksgiving is not historically accurate whitewashing a tale of violence and enforces the belief that the oppressed were happy to sit down with their oppressors take time to acknowledge native and indigenous people's part in the making of this country recognize indigenous people are not all the same their practices are not a monolith. One does not represent all. In our efforts to decolonize Thanksgiving, we encourage actionable steps towards giving Native and Indigenous people access to their own and original resources. And so I just wanted to read that. Definitely check out that Instagram. I will leave them tagged on the screen. Again, it is, just so that I have it right, in this together underscore LA so you can follow them I'll put that on the screen for you guys um, just so you can learn more um, for people who are Native American Indigenous today is Native American Heritage Day it is also Native American Heritage Month um, as well and so I just wanted to acknowledge that take this time during the Thanksgiving period Native American Heritage 
month to educate yourself on indigenous and native americans history real history and take those steps to learn and kind of undo the whitewashed version of what thanksgiving has always meant in america um and learn what it actually is um and i'm not saying that you shouldn't be thankful of course you should be thankful for the things that you have but also we need to recognize the real history and the real brutal massacre that occurred against people who are native to this country and are still not being heard to this day by the administration that we have by people who don't want to acknowledge the fact that pain and injustice was laid upon native and indigenous people so i just encourage you to educate yourself as best as you can and just learn and sympathize and empathize with people who are different from you it it is always hard to kind of confront the truth but at the same time it is very very necessary so hope that you take the time to do that i just really encourage you to read the real history of what happened to native and indigenous people i myself am not native or indigenous in any way shape or form that i am aware of so and it is not a part of my heritage it's not a part of my culture and so i don't know everything there is to know and i don't have all the answers but there are a lot of resources out there and I can provide some in the description box. So please do check that out um, to remember during this holiday. Obviously, it is important to be thankful and I do want to shout out to all the healthcare workers who have been working so, so incredibly hard this year during this pandemic all throughout the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much because honestly, without health workers, we would be in a worse, <laughs> predicament that we currently are in and so it is thanks to you guys holding it in the front lines helping us in ways that we will never know and you guys are going through things that we will never understand um, for those of us who are not health workers so thank you so much and i will definitely provide resources in the description box below on how you can help health workers um and making care packages, donations, and stuff like that. So, yeah. of port and sweet potato pie very small little slice here 
And that is me done for the day. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. I took out my hair last night, as you guys can see. The braids are gone. We're going to be doing some crochet braids tomorrow on Sunday. Um, going to still have some gray, but it's going to be darker towards the um, beginning, and then it gets lighter towards the end so it's going to be a little bit of a different look but it's fine the way in what we've been waiting for to see how much i've gained this week <laughs> i am 221 so no longer 214 but 221 I've gained seven pounds guys that's so much weight but you know what it's honestly I ate really good food this entire week and so I'm not mad about it and really the only thing that's changed on my body is that like my stomach is just a little bit bigger because that's typically where I put on weight very quickly the most so it didn't really go anywhere else but my stomach <laughs> essentially um, I'm currently making breakfast so I'm getting my oats ready. I haven't had yogurt in such a long time. Mm. That's really good. I really like that. So that's what I'm eating right now. This yogurt. Alrighty. So I am currently warming up a small slice of sweet potato pie because I am hungry and realize that the meat that we have ready um, needs to be thawed. <laughs> It's so frozen right now and it is currently 12.44. So I need to eat something right now. And I am just like, you know what? A dark chocolate digestive, which I will have a cookie. And have that now. And a slice of sweet potato pie while I start editing some videos is what I'm going to eat because this is honestly what I'm having today. Here, here it is. I have a little bite. Mm. That is really good. Mm-mm-mm. Dinner is served. It's currently 3.22, but ooh, having some broccoli with some green beans and I'm going to end the vlog here. I weigh 2.21. As you guys know, I've had several handfuls of pretzels. Actually, let me get one more because it doesn't hurt to have a couple more. Oh my gosh. But anyways, I am ending the week here with another. Mm. couple bites of these really hard pretzels that are made with sourdough but they're really good like they're really good 
But anyways, I am ending the week at 221. This is all that I've eaten today. Several handfuls of hard pretzels with everything else that you guys saw. And yeah, this week has been kind of crazy because I... Last week at this time, I was in Colorado and... Well, I was actually making my way to Texas at this time. I was actually here. Like, I, I had already arrived, actually, in Texas. Like, I was in my house, because it's currently 7.37, and I was already in Texas by this time. Like, in my house. This house. So, yeah. To think that last weekend, <laughs> around this time, I had already driven 13 hours from Colorado to Texas, and yeah, definitely uh, made some good time there, and been eating all kinds of food because Thanksgiving week, it is the week to eat whatever the heck you want, and I'm not going to beat myself up over the fact that I gained seven pounds. It is what it is. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you liked any part of this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing here and comment down below. Say hi, I say hi back. And without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm. So good. So good.